I saw the announcement that you guys were going to be here on Channel 2. Thank goodness I wake up to the news because that was one thing. How did the community, how, what kind of outreach did you guys do other than the TV? Where is my supervisor? Yeah, good question. Uh, which I find annoying, but I spent the entire day working with the family who was whose son was killed. Um, I'm just overwhelmed. Um, these little babies, Dania, I, I I hate to call her name, but she's seven. That was her uncle. Uh, I have another little kid whose dad was killed last month. I spent the whole day calling around the police department, calling, trying to get some um, help for these babies, um, some grief counseling. Uh, they, they see too much. They, they, ugh, I'm just overwhelmed. I had to drop everything to get food over to the family and just to spend the whole day working on this. I, when I first saw it on the news, I was coming over because I am afraid that a taser would be disproportionately used against African Americans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in addition to all that we go through in this community, um, today the taser isn't that important to me. When I look at these little babies who are hurting, who continue to hurt, who uh, I look at, it's a shame that you have to call around and get grief counseling. That should have been offered to the family. I'm still waiting for somebody from City Hall to go see that family. Uh, they are distressed that uh, I, I sent out an email saying what happened. And this little guy was labeled as a, it was gang related. Well, this little guy was in college. So all of us, who are, um, whenever it's an African American, it's gang related. Mm -hmm. And I, for a fact, know that this mom was so proud that her son was over uh, majoring in radiology, uh, trying to pay a phone bill, and, and you, you get killed. So I have to deal with these little babies, and they're six, seven, they've seen so much. So I finally got somebody to tell me that they're going to send some grief counselors over to help my babies. But we need help on a continual basis. The only time that we get this kind of support, and trust me, I was on the phone early, Northern Station, as soon as I got up this morning, trying to get some grief counselors over here because I am so sick of little babies being exposed to this kind of violence. And the thing that makes me so angry is, when is it gonna stop? How do we stop it? A taser, gun, whatever. I, I, I commend the people who are doing the gun buy, buybacks. But these babies internalize this stuff. They think it's normal. They, one family, every, every male in the family is dead. You see what I'm saying? The mom was the mom is trying to get resources to take care of her, her kids, and now she has to bury a son. And when I call over to find out what what is going on, I was told that the rumor is he was a gang, is gang related. This came from an official at City Hall. It's rumored that he, it was gang related. So I know you all are here about tasers, but my immediate life, every day, every second, is trying to get these kids to see that there's another world out there. That they, you know, every, it breaks my heart. They're six and seven and, and they're so immune to, to violence, it's, it's ridiculous. So I've been promised that some grief counselors are gonna come and, and talk to my babies Thursday. Um, I don't know what the answer is. I, I don't, and, and they're not personally my babies. Ms. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> um, Williams, you shouldn't have to wait till Thursday. Yeah. Captain McEachern's in the back right there. He's your captain at Northern Station. You'll get, you get some grief counselors tomorrow. 
Greg, can you make sure somebody comes and talks to the kids tomorrow? Yeah, and so I, I just don't have an opinion about cases because I spent the whole day trying to take care of the kids and and get food to the family and the whole bit. But it breaks my heart that as soon as you think things are dying down, it happens again. Yep. And so we have to go through the whole thing. Now, there will be any, uh, uh, well, I don't know, because like I said, I don't know where black people are. Uh, where, where, where is she? Um, and that's what I'm talking about. Can I just offer one thing, just while we're on the services, the chief took care of it, but I know Captain McEachern can also put you in touch with the DA's office, Office of Victim Services, Maria B, phone number 553-1752. Call them because there is up to five thousand dollars through the done compensation fund for those babies ongoingly. Because it's so good that they have you right now in this crisis, but they're going to need ongoing help. And there yeah. are folks in the city who are there to support these kids. And so we need to make sure that, as a threshold matter, that we get you to the right people. Thank because you. you can't, you should not bear that burden alone. Yeah, I'm tired of it. Thank yeah. you.